Welcome to the first installment of our audio series called The Classical Home. My name is Melissa Doherty. I am the art teacher at Holy Child Catholic School. In this series, we hope to give you and your children the opportunity to form a relationship with great works of art, perhaps even to create an art gallery in your memory bank. The fond hope is that someday you'll come across the painting again, ideally the original work, and recognize in it a treasured image. We're looking at a painting by the Dutch artist Johannes Vermeer, who lived and worked during the Baroque era, the 17th century. Vermeer was working at about the same time as Rembrandt. The title of the painting is Young Woman with a Water Pitcher. Let's tap into the Ignatian spiritual exercise of gazing and resting. Look at the painting for several minutes, taking in its completeness and then its individual details. Observe it very closely and try to commit it to memory. Be patient and take your time. This beautiful painting is worthy of your time. Now, cover the image. Can you see it in your mind's eye? If any parts of the painting are hard to recall, study it again concentrating on the parts that aren't clear in your mind. Did you notice the animal head? The pearl necklace? The reflections in the basin of the pitcher? Can you picture the young woman's face and gesture? Your student has been given a postcard size reproduction of the painting. Perhaps you could display it in a common area of your home and revisit it now and then until you can see it clearly in your mind's eye, your interior art gallery. You might use the painting as the wallpaper on your computer. The students will have access to a larger reproduction in their classrooms. I'd like to end with an interesting footnote on Vermeer the person. One of the qualities of his domestic scenes that I most enjoy is the profound stillness and serenity they portray. Vermeer used his own home as the subject for most of his paintings and it was his studio as well. It's hard to reconcile the tranquility of the images with the fact that he was father to 11 children who were undoubtedly swarming underfoot as he worked. He must have been a patient man with a placid outlook. Until next time, God bless your families.